Hello and welcome to Zscaler's Data Protection Transformed Live. We will be delving deep into innovations that will revolutionize the way you identify and protect data. I'm Solana Sar, and I'll be your host for the event. Today, we will hear from world-class data protection experts and progressive leaders from across the industry that have successfully implemented data protection in their own organizations. We'll hear from Zscaler's experts who will take you through exciting new innovations that will transform your approach to data protection. Since this will be a live event, you will see prompts for polls that you can fill out and of course, you can ask questions that we'll answer live as we go along. Before we dive into these new innovations, it's important for us to understand how we got here. Data protection is universally recognized as being business critical for organizations, now more than ever. However, useful adoption of data protection has been more an ideal concept than something that would be successfully implemented. This has led to a number of offerings trying to solve it, with each offering bringing new shortcomings that, to that ideal goal. Let's do a quick recap. Phase one DLP was initially created for an on-premises world, where all your applications were hosted locally in your data center. On-prem DLP built on legacy classification engines that required deep expertise to fine tune and manage the solution. It's best to summarize it as cumbersome solutions that simply generated too many false positives. Most importantly, it did not solve for the world of SaaS applications. SaaS applications kicked off a new phase, the creation of data sharing of data left the on-prem world and with it, the need to maintain visibility, protection, and control of sensitive data moved to the cloud. Many organizations adopted multiple vendors and solutions to duplicate or attempt to expand on legacy DLP. The combination of on-prem and CASB-focused solution compounded the problem with incident fatigue, increased false positives, with fragmented solutions that required even more resources. In a matter of fact, in a recent conversation with a CISO for a very large airline that needed a solution to protect his data and maintain compliance, the CISO started the meeting by stating they do not, they do not want more DLP. In fact, they had removed on-prem DLP after a few years because of the unmanageable number of false positives. It was simply ineffective. Unlike the past, in today's hyper-distributed world, data is everywhere, access from many locations and devices. And to solve this, we need a new approach that unifies data protection in a single purpose-built cloud, cloud platform excuse me, and scale with accuracy, simplified management, and deployment. And to talk about how a purpose-built cloud platform can enable this third phase of data protection. For your organization, I am pleased to introduce Zscaler's founder, CEO, Jay Chowdhury. Jay? Thank you. Hello. We all know that in today's digital world, Data is the most important asset of any company. And protecting this data from a whole range of bad actors and even nation states is extremely important. So I don't need to talk about the risk of data loss. Let's talk about why do we face this problem, even though we have been spending lots of time in trying to tackle these issues. Well, the problem lies in the fundamental technology and architecture built over the years. Every company for the last 30 years have built a, a hub and spoke network, bringing traffic from each user, each branch to the data center. And the data center was like a castle and moat. Applications sitting there protected by a range of appliances, including some of the DLP boxes. But we are all embracing cloud 
SaaS applications on one side, public cloud on, on the other side, we are transforming applications, and our data is everywhere. Our users are becoming more and more mobile. They want to go direct for better performance. It's requiring us to do network transformation from hub and spoke to direct connectivity. And if we do so, security breaks because traditional security and data protection is sitting in a few choke points in the data center. Hence, security must move away from traditional castle and moat to zero trust architecture. Now, why are we facing all these issues for data protection and cyber when we are spending millions and millions of dollars on our networks and security? Well, the issue lies in 30 plus year old network architecture. That architecture was invented in late 90s using the IP-based architecture. We could extend our data center to every branch office so user could go to the branch office, get on the network, discover applications, and access them. It was wonderful, probably the biggest breakthrough in the distributed computing world, in the world of networking. And then we could extend our data center to every household with VPN. And now we are extending our data center, our network to every cloud region because applications and users, they must be on the same network. And then we are launching virtual firewalls thinking that we are doing cloud security. But a virtual firewall is a network device. We are extending a network to every location where the network is, where the firewalls are. Our network is getting bigger, it is flatter. What's the risk with that? Well, first of all, the bad guys, they want to find you, they find every IP address that's exposed to the internet that can be discovered, exploited, and definitely DDoSed. Two, they want to compromise you. Every bad thing starts with compromising users. Three, once they get on uh, maybe a weak link like a user machine, they want to move laterally to find high value targets. And once they found that, they want to steal your data. And all stolen data essentially gets sent to the internet. So look at these three, four steps. So the problem of data protection needs to be looked at holistically as a part of a platform, not a standalone product on its own. This is where the zero trust architecture comes in. This is where Zscaler zero trust exchange comes in. So we are not really looking at this is a DLP solution, this is a cyber solution. This is part of being an exchange. The way Zscaler zero trust exchange works is the following. Applications are merely destinations. They're sitting out there somewhere. Users and devices are all untrusted. There's no routable network between the users and the applications. Your applications can be put in two buckets, managed by you, which are in your data center or in public cloud, or managed by third parties, that's like SaaS and internet. So how do you connect? Well, through our zero trust exchange, which is like a switchboard. Your users or devices can come to us over any network and we're sitting in 150 location. The first thing we do is say, stop, who are you? That's verification, that's identity. The next thing, identity can be stolen. So let's figure out what device are you coming from? Is it managed, unmanaged? Is it mobile phone, is it laptop? You can have policies that are linked to it. Where are you coming from? What applications are you headed? So these contacts are important part of the exchange. If all that looks good, then we go to the next step. Let's minimize risk by inspecting traffic for malware and data protection. What's leaking out? What's being sent out? We are like a control point, like an international airport that's inspecting everything that goes in and out. And if all looks good, we can enforce policy to allow connections or block them, or even isolate where we can stream pixels for data protection point of view. So this architecture allows us to do a number of things. First of all, we can prevent compromise, we can prevent lateral movement, we can prevent data loss out there. 
this architecture is fundamentally different from traditional firewall VPN architecture. Firewall is like a bridge. Once you make the connection, things keep on flowing. And they can't really do proper inspection of SSL and the like. That's why a proxy-based architecture makes for a wonderful exchange. Sometimes people wonder, when I access something through traditional VPN or firewall or through Zscaler, it looks similar. It's almost like looking at two cars. They look very similar from outside. But once you open the hood, are they similar? Not really. It's the architecture that needs to change from time to time. And architecture can take you for 20, 25, 30 years. But then you need to move to a new clean architecture. That's the architecture Zscaler has built. So using this zero trust exchange, we're doing four big areas of functionality. First is cyber threat protection. Make sure you don't get compromised. Number two, data protection, a full holistic approach because everything leaks to the internet and we're sitting there, everything flows through us. In addition, we bring in zero trust connectivity where your branches and offices are not on a routable network. And four, user experience. Our today's focus is about data protection in a holistic fashion. And the problem is getting bigger and bigger. Why is that? Well, the data is everywhere. The data could be sitting in your laptop, could be sitting in a mobile phone, could be sitting in SaaS application, or it could be sitting in public cloud under Azure, AWS, and the like. And we want to make sure that access to the data is secured. We need to make sure that there's no channel that's left open for data to leak out there. That's a holistic approach. And Zskill has come up with a number of innovative technologies that not, not only make it easy to detect and block it, but also makes it easy to deploy this kind of solution and makes it easy to, to manage it on ongoing basis, okay? So with that, let's kind of take a couple of questions from the audience. Yeah. Salah. Thank you, Jay. Great. Thank you, Jay. It's great to see how a proxy-based zero-trust architecture establishes a foundation for organizations' digital transformation that includes data protection, among others. Now we want to hear from you. On your screen, you see a poll asking what your biggest concern is with regard to data protection. Please let us know your opinion in this area and we will review the results in a few moments. But first, as Jay said, let's hear some of your questions. So Jay, I have a number of questions. Mm -hmm. First question is from Alex. What element of data protection platform is most important? So a good platform starts with being, being able to understand what kind of data it is. So they can try to figure out, is it confidential, is it not, and the like. So a platform that's a proxy architecture that can terminate connection to inspect and, and SSL inspection capabilities, that's the foundation. If you can look at the data, you can do classification, identification, and blocking. Proxy with ability to do SSL inspection at scale. Excellent, and I actually have a question that's almost a follow-up question to that, mm -hmm. came in from Steve. My CASB vendor claims to be purpose-built for SSE. How does Zscaler's platform differ? Yeah, CASB started out as a point product. There were 100 plus vendors trying to do CASB. They all got sold because they had to become part of the platform. Trying to make API calls to uh, a number of 8, 10, 12 applications is not hard. Being an inline inspection engine with a proxy architecture right. without slowing it down is hard. That's why it's very hard for out-of-band vendors to enter this space and deliver a really, really reliable service because when you're online handling all the traffic, 
If you don't work well, if you go down, the world is cut off from you. So I want my customers and audience to understand that when you choose a, a provider for this kind of service, don't just look, look at bells and whistles. Look at the reliability and availability of the platform. That's right, that's fantastic. Thank you, Jay. And with that, folks, we now have the results from our polling questions. Let's take a look. Jay, it looks like it's a toss-up between too many point products needed and gaps in protection leads to increased risk. Actually, I'm not surprised. That's right. Yeah. I have often heard from CISOs, I have appliance fatigue, overload of so many point products. And then they say, in spite of that, the solution isn't working. That's so the gaps is a natural thing as well. And that's why you need a platform. Exactly so. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much, Jay. Thank you for being here today and sharing these valuable insights with our audience. Salam, so, thank, thank you. Great. Folks, next, let's hear about Zscaler's new data protection innovations that are being announced today. These data protection announcements are going to expand on the Zero Trust Exchange's data protection capabilities. For that, it's my pleasure to invite to the stage our GM and VP of Data Protection, Moin Khan. Moin how are you today? Thank you, Salah. Good morning. Thanks for being here. What an exciting, exciting day for Zscaler's data protection. I'm here to walk you through a couple of new innovations that we believe will fundamentally change the way organizations think about their data protection program. Zscaler was established about 14 years ago to help organizations with cyber attacks. Over the last 14 years, we have delivered many new innovations in the threat prevention world to keep the bad guys out. About eight years ago, when Zscaler started thinking about data protection, we realized that the paradigm for data has completely changed. The data is no longer sitting in your on-prem locations. They have migrated to hundreds of cloud applications. The data is everywhere. Your endpoint, your USB and external drive, were no longer the primary source for data exfiltration. Instead, it is users' cloud-based file sharing and storage applications, collaboration applications, and personal email applications. This channel became the number one data exfiltration point. And so we wanted to solve your cloud DLP problem. So what we did is we started leveraging our existing Zero Trust Exchange. Zero Trust Exchange essentially is our customers' gateway to the internet. All their internet-bound traffic is egressing through our man-in-the-middle proxy. And for data security, we delivered data security for data in motion, data at rest, and also your sensitive data that is on your BYOD and unmanaged assets. And we have done it across hundreds of cloud-based and cloud-based applications. The data that is going to the web, to a random web applications. When users are using corporate sanctioned and unsanctioned SaaS-based services, we inspected that data, we protected that data. The data is sitting in AWS S3 bucket, Azure, and GCP. And last but not least, your sensitive data that is part of your private apps, you are running either from on-prem locations or from public cloud infrastructure. The way we delivered data protection was very different than other players in the market. We realized that in order to solve your cloud data protection problem, we need a cloud native architecture that can scale that can give you high performance, high accuracy, and high efficacy. 
So we build a massive cloud with 150 data centers across the globe. And we did full SSL inspection. We terminated that SSL connection. We wait for the entire payload to come before inspection kicked in. And today, we are doing 250 billion internet connection. We are inspecting 250 billion SSL connections every single day. We didn't just look at port 80 and 443. We looked at all ports and protocols to make sure data exfiltration doesn't happen through these other ports and protocols. And last but not least, the policy always followed the user no matter where they were located. So great, the architecture was fantastic. You know, it's fundamental to data protection. What about accuracy? If you talk to any data protection admin today, they will tell you that they are tired of false positives. So very early on, we wanted to make sure that we take care of this problem. We stayed away from an off-the-shelf data classification engine and extraction layer that other players are using. Instead, we build it from the scratch. And that strategy paid off. We build a data classification engine that delivers high accuracy. With that accuracy, then we started inspecting 170 million files every single day at a very high speed. And our match content, then we started feeding to our AI and ML classification engine for continuous learning, that continuous learning eventually gave us further accuracy. So as you can see, in order to solve your cloud DLP problem behind the scene, we actually did a lot of hard work and essentially that hard work paid off. So that's been our last eight years of journey. What's next? When we sit down and talk to hundreds of data protection team, the DLP admin, data protection admin, across the board, we hear about three common problems that are, keep coming up. The first problem, they will tell you that the initial deployment of data protection is super complex, super costly. You need to build a huge DLP team that can constantly write rules, regex, and policies. The second problem, organizations who have comprehensive data protection program, they end up using four or five different DLP engines. Perhaps they are using a legacy system for on-prem and endpoint. For their exchange, for their email traffic, they're doing DLP with secure email gateway. For cloud traffic, they're using a cloud proxy-based DLP solution. For data at rest, they're scanning data with another DLP engine that, that came from their out-of-band CASB solution. That is massive complexity. <coughs> And disjointed policy and feature imperity drives everyone crazy. And then the third problem, even if you go through this complexity during the deployment phase, you have to think about post-deployment, your operations and management. Every DLP vendor is sitting with hundreds of alerts. They just don't know what to do with those alerts. With today's announcement, I am pleased to announce a couple of new inno innovations that will address all these problems that we are seeing in the market. First, we are introducing zero configuration data protection for fast deployment and to reduce complexity. Second, today we are introducing an enterprise data protection platform that protects all your channels, a single integrated unified protection that reduces risk. And third, to simplify operations, today we are announcing full closed loop incident management with workflow automation. In the next few minutes, I'm going to do a couple of quick demos and give you more details about these new innovations. So let's get started. What is zero configuration data protection? Over the last 15 months, we built a massive data pipeline. We collected 
millions of documents from different sources. On top of it, remember, on the wire, every day we are inspecting 170 million files. Our data at rest CASB solution is also scanning millions of files every single day. And last but not least, our customers are pumping massive amount of office files and PDF files to our cloud sandbox. So what we did is we anonymized all this data and then we started feeding this large data set to our AI and ML engine. Now behind the scene, our ML engine is utilizing a lot of sophisticated protocols and algorithms. It's using natural language processing, word stemming, lemmatization, gradient boosting models. So using all these sophisticated technology, the ML engine can auto-classify, auto-discover millions of documents and then bucketize them into different thematic document categories. So now, with that feature in place, in this example, as you can see, when an admin logs into our dashboard, by default, they get a complete visibility of their data that, that they do not have today. And then the most important thing here is that in order for admins to get this visibility, they did not create a single policy, single rules and regex. Everything was readily available to them. I can see in the last seven days, our users uploaded about 8,300 documents to random websites and SaaS-based services. Many of these documents are company sensitive. I see legal documents, NDA, litigation documents. I see financial documents, tax forms, W2, W9. I see medical documents. And once again, all of that visibility was readily built for them. Now, when I look at this visibility, when I get this visibility and look, and look at this data, I like to dig deeper. Who are the top users that are contributing to this risk? Turns out, Alex, Ben, and Cynthia. They're the top users for these violations. I like to click on Ben, what exactly he is doing, and I can see that he is using corporate OneDrive. At the same time, he's uploading a lot of documents to his personal Google Drive and Gmail. And with Gmail, he is attaching a lot of legal and financial documents. Now that is some serious visibility. It gives me actionable insights. And now I'm ready to take action against Ben. So as you can see, this, this visibility, auto-classification, and data discovery through ML can be extremely, extremely powerful. It feels like that instead of me working for DLP, DLP is working for me. All right, so let's now move on to the next section. Today, we are introducing enterprise DLP across all channels. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, we have delivered data security for data in motion, data at rest, data running on BYOD and unmanaged assets across all cloud channels. And with today's announcement, we are announcing email DLP, and we are also announcing endpoint DLP. Let's look at email DLP. In the past, we did pay attention to data exfiltration through email, but our primary focus was always users' personal email applications. If users were to exfiltrate data using their Yahoo email, Gmail, or Hotmail, we would inspect that content in line real time and we would enforce different policies to protect that data. For your corporate exchange and Gmail, we delivered out of band CASB for data at rest scanning. We scan all your emails to make sure that you are protected from threats and your data is always secure. Now, with today's announcement, we are going to be able to inspect all your corporate exchange and Gmail traffic in line at real time and be able to enforce different type of policies where you can protect sensitive attachments and crown jewels. Let's talk about endpoint DLP. The traditional endpoint DLP solution try to monitor web traffic on the endpoint. 
and they were not successful. They tried to do it with different type of browser plugins that continuously break. We don't have that problem. We do not have to do it because all web traffic monitoring is happening in the cloud very effectively. Instead, we are simply extending our classification engine for endpoint DLP. So we are gonna be able to classify the, the data on the endpoint. We will focus on data in motion when users are trying to exfiltrate that data using USB, external drive, network share, Bluetooth connection, clipboard, Wi-Fi connections. It's a very effective and innovative way to do endpoint DLP without taxing that endpoint that doesn't have that much compute power. Let's move on to the next topic, workflow automation. If you talk to any existing DLP admin and data protection admin, they will tell you that they're sitting with hundreds of alerts. They don't know what to do with those alerts because most of the time, they don't even understand what was the intent behind that upload, what was the intent behind that usage. It would be fantastic if these admins can empower other key stakeholders in the organization. Why not delegate some of these violations to the end user? Why not delegate some severe data violations problems to people manager, VPs of the BU, or HR? So a couple of months ago, Zscaler did an acquisition and we acquired a Silicon Valley startup, Shiftright. Shiftright was designed to introduce workflow, workflow automation across all security domains. And what we did is we integrated that workflow automation solution with our DLP stack. And to introduce workflow automation, I would like to now invite Sanjay Khalra, who was the CEO of Shifrai Technology. Sanjay, welcome. Manuel. As Manuel stated, a few months back, Zscaler acquired Shifrai. And in the last few months, we have actually integrated the Shifrai solution completely with the data protection platform to offer a new innovative solution around workflow automation for data protection. As Manuel stated, there are three main areas we're trying to solve. The first one, the resources. The number of incidents keep on increasing, but there's not enough time or resources to solve those. The second problem is that even though these incidents end up at the security doorstep, they cannot solve them. They need to work with other parts of the company to solve these issues. And the third, the most important thing is that you need to make sure there's a closed loop. There's a follow-up for these incidents. And that's where the shift right workflow automation comes into picture. The product actually is fully hosted in the cloud. It helps DLP admins escalate the incidents, get justification from the users, track and audit incidents. Let's take an example. Say a sales employee sends a confidential presentation on a personal Gmail. This surely is a violation of the DLP policy. The DLP engine immediately catches that, then sends the incident to the Zscaler workflow automation engine which automatically assigns this incident to the right DLP admin, prioritizes it, and then the DLP admin can come to the console and get more information on that incident. Once he sees the incident, he can get more details, including the trigger data, if he's allowed to do that. In this solution, all the customer data, sensitive data, stays at the customer control. It never comes to Zscaler. And it's all controlled by very strong privacy flags. After analyzing this incident, the DLP admin decides that needs to get more information from the user. So he notifies the user. He sends an email to Alex asking the reason for sending this confidential information to the personal Gmail. The workflow automation engine it automatically sends a message to Alex based on his preference. It could be email, could be Slack, could be Teams, asking for a justification on why this was being done. Alex, at this point, can either say it's a false positive or give some other reason. In this example, Alex states that this was actually something which was actually approved by the manager and was required for a specific project. As soon as this happens, the workflow engine pulls the manager information from the active directory and automatically sends an email to the manager trying to verify if this was the case or not. Once the workflow automation engine gets 
an answer in affirmative from the manager, it can automatically send route the incident back to the DLP admin, which can then close and resolve the incident. We just talked about one brief example, where we solved an example of where a sales guy was sending a personal Gmail account, uh, email. But this solution is pretty comprehensive. You can customize the email templates, you can customize the survey templates, you can customize the workflows. And it can be used for anything from escalating when somebody left a statement on OneDrive to employ it, sending an objection material and where you want to escalate to the HR. Again, the key part here is that we are trying to help the DLP admins resolve these incidents very quickly, automatically with a closed loop, and also helping them collaborate with the rest of the company because the role of security is changing from being a firefighter to fire marshal. So instead of resolving the incidents themselves, they need to find the right resources within the company to resolve these issues. We're really excited to be part of the Zscaler family and offering this innovative solution. And I'll hand it back to Manuel to summarize the rest of the things we've announced today. Thank you, Sanjay, for such a wonderful demo. Folks, uh, before I close my section, I would, like to, I would like you to walk away with a couple of points. Data protection is not just a feature that you can turn on and forget about. It's a journey. And in that journey, you got to take a crawl, walk, run approach. The features are important. You have to utilize auto classification, auto discovery. You have to use predefined engines, custom regex, custom policies, EDM, IDM, OCR. But don't forget, the architecture is fundamental. You have to have the right architecture that can scale, that can give high performance, high accuracy, and efficacy. Second, you need a single integrated classification engine that you can utilize across all channels. And, and, and third, the, the operations has to be simpler than what it is today. Last but not least, the data protection cannot happen in isolation. It has to be part of a broader security strategy. You need a secure service edge, an integrated platform that can keep the bad guys out with superior threat prevention innovation. At the same time, you need a very effective data protection solution for your insider threats. And with that, I would like to thank you again for being here. I'm going to now hand it off to Salah for the next section. Moino. Thank you so much. What an excitement, exciting, very exciting announcement, folks. Moino, these are truly game-changing innovations. It's exciting to see the pace Zscaler is innovating. And with that, you've created a lot of questions. We had a very... I think sure. very popular uh, update with a lot of questions here. Let me start out, and folks, I will try to get through all these questions. First one came in from Pooja. Is a new device agent required for endpoint DLP? Great question. The answer is no. The endpoint DLP will be fully consolidated with Zscaler client connector that millions of endpoints are already using today for ZIA, ZPN, ZDX. So no additional endpoint agent is needed for endpoint DLP. Thank you, Moino. And folks, while we're doing the Q&A, again, you do have a poll question on right now that's asking about the new innovations and which ones are most interesting for you. So please fill those poll questions out while we continue the q and I have another question here for you that came in uh, from Chris. With zero configuration data protection, does this mean I no longer need to use DLP dictionaries such as EDM, IDM, and OCR? No. Uh, the, the auto data classification and discovery that we built with ML, it augments what you already have today, right? Uh, so you can continue to use your predefined dictionaries, custom dictionaries, regex, EDM, IDM, OCR, but the auto classification will give you an additional visibility that you do not have today. I will give you an example. If you talk to a DLP admin in retail industry, he's constantly writing regex to protect PCI and PII data. He will never think that he needs to write a regex to look at resumes 
that their employees are uploading to LinkedIn and other organization. He might have a potential attrition problem, but he will never think about this. That kind of visibility we are bringing on the table. You have the full visibility with your data, what's exactly happening that goes above and beyond those dictionaries, EDM and IDM. Make That's sense? Makes a lot of sense, folks. I'm not going to be able to get through all your questions. Um, at this point, I think we have the poll results. Let's take a quick look. Sure. Moino, it looks like you have a toss up between endpoint DLP and zero configuration data protection. That's yes. actually very exciting considering zero trust, zero configuration data protection is something we just announced today. And I'm glad to hear that. That's fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And with that, um, thank you for sharing these new industry first innovations, Moino. Absolutely. And folks, now let's hear directly from our customers on how Zscaler is helping them transform the way they secure their data. Partnering with Zscaler was the right idea. It's a leader in the space. It's a leader in the zero trust space in terms of the capability and the suite of products. My name is Michael Baker. I'm the Vice President and Chief Information Security Officer for GDIT. GDIT is a provider of IT solutions to government agencies across DOD, Intel, and federal civilians. As a government contractor, GDIT is under a significant amount of regulation and expectations for how we secure our network, how we secure our data and our customers' data. Zscaler is now one of our marquee solutions to really enforce that data protection out to wherever our users are, any place, any device, um, any internet connection. So as it relates to that, you know, having that zero trust story is really gonna help us as it relates to meeting our CMMC expectations, our other expectations we have and how we operate. So right now we employ the ZIA product suite that allows us to extend our security perimeter out to our users' home environments and home internet connections. And we're able to write policies and enforce certain data protection principles you know, at the edge and not centrally. That really enables some of the additional security and user experience gains for a hybrid workforce. Within a month, we had real noticeable risk reduction as it relates to how our users are at home and they're consuming internet services. Into the future, we're gonna be analyzing the ZPA product and see where that could fit in our transformational roadmap as well. I would recommend Zscaler to any organization that is looking to kickstart their zero trust journey. Their solution is a cornerstone uh, within the network pillar that you can leverage very quickly. You can roll it out in very short order to realize immediate gains as it relates to how uh, you're protecting your data, uh, particularly with users in a hybrid work environment. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Ostrander, Senior Director of Security Engineering for Medtronic, the global healthcare technology leader focused on solving the world's biggest healthcare challenges to extend and improve the lives of more than two people every second worldwide. As security leaders, we all recognize that protecting our valuable data is a top priority. But we also know it's an enormous challenge to find, classify, and securely manage all those critical assets. Data protection technologies that should be part of the solution have long underwhelmed security professionals due to the huge effort required to configure and manage them, a lack of a consistent single pane of glass to manage the multiple solutions required, and a lack of effective automation to act on potential issues. Medtronic has looked to Zscaler to help improve visibility of our data movement, reduce complexity in our current environment, and unify logging and alerting from secure web gateway, DLP, and CASB solutions, and are seeing great results and efficiencies. With the new capabilities Zscaler is announcing today, the industry is finally moving toward a truly unique and exciting time where security teams can eliminate most of those shortcomings and deliver on data protection priorities. I'm confident this will help Medtronic make meaningful advancement in this key area with improved efficiencies, improved time to results, and reduced resource commitment. I'm pleased to see Zscaler leading the way and very happy to have them as a partner on our journey to engineer the extraordinary. Being a CIO at Workato, the leading enterprise automation platform, one of my team's core goals is to enable employees to be as productive as possible. While our employees are now accessing data from everywhere, 
the remote experience must remain secure and free of data loss. However, ensuring both productivity while mitigating risk is often easier said than done. When we started working with Zscaler, we had two initiatives in mind. The first one was to leverage the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange to help reduce the data loss challenges in our own organization. And second was to partner together on integrations that can help other companies automate their data protection processes. Before implementing the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange, we had challenges securing our data across cloud apps like Salesforce and G Drive and having visibility into what our remote workers were doing. Our sensitive data need to be better accounted for and Zscaler was a perfect partner for that. We are now able to peel back and inspect our SSL encrypted traffic for sensitive content and easily control data resting in cloud applications. We can see if sensitive data is leaving the organization and enforce better control policies. However, the best data protection program needs a thoughtful approach on how to coach employees. This is where our Zscaler integration with Workado comes into play. If a Zscaler DLP rule is triggered because a sensitive data is blocked from leaving the organization, it's important that the employee knows why. Through the Workado integration, users can get this valuable coaching. Feedback is given within a tool they use every day, like Slack or Teams, and also allows them to provide justification as to why they're attempting to share the data. Through these workflows, organizations can ensure users become both stewards of the data protection program, while IT can streamline incident response times. Working with Zscaler on this strategic partnership has been nothing short of fantastic. We've been able to deliver transformative zero trust protection across our own organization while helping others improve their data protection programs. Excellent. How amazing and inspiring is that? There is nothing more fulfilling than seeing how our technology is solving real problems for our customers. Now, I'd like to introduce our next speaker to tell us more about the work Zscaler is doing with our technology ecosystem partners to build joint solutions that protect our customers' data better together. And with that, I'd like to welcome Puneet Minocha, the EVP of Business Development at Zscaler. Puneet, how Thank are you today? So Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm Puneet Minocha, EVP of Business and Corporate Development here at Zscaler. I'm thrilled you have joined us today and are choosing to invest your time in learning more about Zscaler's data protection solutions. As you know, we have a robust ecosystem of technology alliance partners, each with their own distinct capabilities, which complement the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange platform. For the next 10 minutes or so, I'd like to tell you more about our integrations between leading SaaS partners and the Zscaler data protection solution. To improve your security and compliance posture and ultimately minimize risk, you need uniform visibility and control over your content across the SaaS landscape. Native security controls are inconsistent across SaaS vendors and are rarely enough to prevent a breach. Zscaler integrates with the leading industry SaaS apps to protect your data through visibility, control, and consistent threat protection with a robust, flexible policy framework. Today, I would like to highlight two of these integrations around data protection, Microsoft Azure Information Protection, AIP, and Box. With Microsoft, our mutual customers have invested time and resources in AIP for data classification and rights management. Zscaler adds value to organizations by extending these existing AIP policies for better data classification and rights management protecting against sensitive data loss from leading or leaving organizations on encrypted traffic, such as personal email or file sharing applications. Now that's what I call better together, a better win for our customers. Now to discuss our partnership with Box, I would like to invite Manoj Asnani, VP of Product Management at Box. Manoj, welcome. Thank you. Manoj, thank you again for the time. So tell us a little in the audience here, what security tools, capabilities Box offers today? Absolutely. So Box offers a collection of native security and compliance tools, which includes core security, including identity, access, and device trust, Box Shield, which includes content classification, 
malware and ransomware detection capabilities, and DLP. And then box governance, which includes retention and disposition of content. And finally, industry and regulatory compliance and certifications, such as FedRAMP, FINRA, GXP, and many more. Wow, that's a lot of capabilities. It is. Uh, obviously, you know, the fact that you have all these capabilities must tell me that you're in the leading edge of some of the trends that you're seeing. Tell us a little in the audience about that. Yeah, happy to. Um, we hear three broader concerns from our customers. First, there is an explosion of content, especially unstructured content. 80% of all the data will be unstructured by 2025, and customers find it hard to manage and protect it. Second, zero trust access. Customers want to ensure that access to their content is rooted in real-time trust of devices and users. And finally, the shortage of security professionals. Teams are overloaded with myriad of security issues, and it can only be solved via automation and AI. There is absolutely a need for multi-layer defense strategy to deal with content security. Wow, complete agreement on the need for automation, operationalizing this data protection and protecting the unstructured content. Completely agreed on that. In fact, one of the audience questions you know, uh, uh, testified that. So in terms of the overall box and Zscaler integration, you know, talk to the audience about what is the announcements that we're making today and what is exciting going forward. Absolutely, this is, a, this is the most exciting topic for me. So Box plus Zscaler provide a phenomenal defense and depth value proposition to customers. Organizations can store classification framework in Box which Zscaler DLP engine can use for Box files to enforce policies. In addition, Box Shield Smart Access integrates with Zscaler's DLP engine to invoke print, download, and share restriction to prevent data exfiltration. This ensures real-time protection closest to where the incidents might occur. In summary, this multi-layer security strategy is necessary and shows how Box plus Zscaler are better together for customers. Great, wow, how exciting. I mean, the basic idea here is instead of just out of band APIs, the idea that we now have this real time classification, whether it's restrictive data, super sensitive data, you as customers have the ability to do that. Absolutely. Manoj, thank you so much for the thank partnership. You for really me. appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank Salah, you. Salah, back to you. Thank you, Puni. <laughs> Thanks, Puni and Manoj. These are powerful integrations you showcased that extend the investment of our mutual customers and provide a phenomenal joint value proposition. It's clear that our ecosystem continues to play a strategic role in helping our joint customers secure their data as they continue on their digital transformation journey. Folks, today Zscaler announced game-changing innovations in data protection. These new innovations allow organizations to reduce deployment of data protection programs from months to hours by reducing the complexity while increasing efficacy. I'd like to thank each of you for spending your valuable time with us, but don't leave just yet. The technical breakouts are starting now where you will learn more about these three innovations. Also, Please complete the survey. Your feedback is valuable to us, and we can make sure that the next event is even better. To learn even more about Zscaler data protection capabilities, the new innovations you heard about today, go to zscaler.com data protection transformed slash resources. Thank you again, and I'll see you at the technical breakouts starting right now.